such a carrot, but you won't let anybody know you. You're a heavy-legged son of a bitch, and you'll let what others think control you. Well, we've been playing shows in Nashville for quite a while. And um, like Neil mentioned, we played Road to Bonnaroo last year. Um, and when we didn't win, in us it bred a kind of fierce determination. So we actually started practicing as a band and uh, pretended to take ourselves seriously. <laughs> and, um, and we worked really hard. And, uh, and so we kind of gave it our all. Gave it 110 percent, and uh, we were very gratified to win. Um, and so, certainly, all of us, Bonnaroo is such a big deal. And so, getting to participate this year has just been thrilling for all of us. Um, after we did the contest, I got a call from Luke at like 2:30 in the morning. I have to be at work at five, and he's like, "Gary, we're going to Bonnaroo," and I can hear all these guys. <laughs> giggling in the background and I was like man I can't go to bed so I drove over there and they were just out of control already but dude it was awesome I did a lot of these fist pumps was going, duh, duh. so I mean excited I think that is how we feel about winning the road to Bonnaroo excited and happy we have a crowd but there's, everyone is a band in Nashville. 90% of the people that we associate with are in bands. So we're all hypercritical of each other, but loving and caring for each other. We really have to do something outlandish, but also musically impressive to sort of attract people. And that's sort of why we add the theatrical aspect into our show. Another thing that being at Bonnaroo has meant is that we have access to playing music for people from all around the country. Um, so when you play a show in Nashville, like Neil said, oftentimes it's your friends and maybe friends of friends and some stragglers. Um, but at Bonnaroo, it's been really cool getting to meet people from all around the country and knowing that maybe, just maybe, all around the world, we had a guy from Brazil at our show and he got our autographs. So it's cool knowing that maybe, just maybe, you get to reach people and a broader scope. Up here at Bonnaroo, you see that, just how diverse what's going on. There's so much of a hip-hop presence, an electronic presence, to go along with bluegrass. Now, it really, and I saw No Effects the other day, and they didn't know how they ended up here, but they're here. <laughs> All of these other bands are there that are all like what you were talking about, genre, like melding, and I feel like that's where music's going, like it's all going to be harder and harder to classify, and that's really cool. Well, we did just cut a few new singles, that two of them will be part of our new record that will be out sometime in the next 12 months. This is 
like the sin qua non of our band, like the very top of most of the pop of most. We've been together for a long time. Long time. This is the top of the mountain. 